Okay, we're rolling. Mm. Hi, hi everyone. Hello and welcome to Outfit of the Day with Joey, motherfucking D. That's me. I'm wearing a towel. It's from Zara. It's a large, right? This is it, right? Tip of the motherfucking day. Large shit on top. Baggy shit, right? Even if you're a lifter, you don't have to always, it doesn't have to be like this on your arms, man. Because that's how you look like a fucking knobhead. Mm. Like, like, I lift, I go to the gym. Jeans, uh, Legend London. I'll put the link down in the description. They're pretty sick fucking jeans, man. They fit great. They're just good, mate. Uh, webs. Clarks, man. Nice lad webs. Beige. Jan sales, yeah. Come on, come on. Gigs. Or, uh, these are like, they're actually fake. I think they're called Ray Ban Club Masters. But I got them for like five euros. If you're on the beach in Ibiza, right? No matter what the guy says, you can get sunnies for five euros. If he says 15, 20, 10, walk, that, walk the fuck away, man. You can get them for five. Casio, I don't know what it's called, but it's a Casio. And the great thing about this is, it's versatile as fuck. But the key take home point from all of this is baggy shit on top, tightish shit on the bottom. That's it, that's it. We don't want no like, fucking Gap Kids shit on top because you look like a fucking 2004 lifter like you're gonna go chill with this and that no offence like but that was 10 years ago man we don't want a shirt for this alright I'm going home to get a hoover hi everyone this is a sick tune right I'm gonna put it I'm not gonna check now because I might die I'm on the way I don't wanna look at my phone be responsible but I'm going to put the tune up on the screen and let you listen to it for a bit. Yes, sir. This is fucking naughty, mate. This is fucking naughty, mate. This is fucking naughty, shit. What's that, mate? What's in front of us? What's in front of us? The fucking horizon. The open fucking road. The open the horizon, road. Mate. The open road. Optimism. The road. It's uh, bumpy on this road. Well, it's hump, hump day, isn't it, lad? What, what's at the end of the uh, road, Mike? The end of the road is the wallet. metaphorical road. I mean, the end of the road is um, more road. It's made it, Bill, mate. Made it, Bill. Made it, Bill. That's where we're going. All right. Well, on our way to Made it, Bill. Fast. We're in the fast lane but, as well. But, but look, there's bumps. Check the sign. Yeah, no, Check yeah, the sign. There's bumps along the way. You see. What do they represent? Uh, the Wednesday hump day. No, they represent obstacles. All oh, right. Okay. Speaking. Okay. So we went home, picked up a Hoover, did a little car swap, and now we're heading back. And we're going right past the Tesco, which means we're gonna nip in. Spicy spherical. Gonna do a beetroot haul. Just get on the road again, man. Just keep being sick, motherfucking guys, man. Yes, clean. Friendliness. Linus. Why are you hoovering, Mike? What? What are you hoovering for? Um, just because... Because uh, you got a wallet coming across the border. No. No, no. Um, just because I like to walk around without, like, what's it crumbs sticking to me feet and that. What's it? What's it? This guy's got wallet importing from fucking Scotland, mate. I hope you don't upload this and she watches it before she gets loves, it. Loves, <laughs> loves a long distance fucking call in man loves importing rig efforts this lad goes to mate what were we saying about sheet colours man new bedding for a bird man well mate don't get black honestly just, nah, you know, just you don't see the it, sheet here the sheet's inside nah you still get a jizzling well, sheet mate because the, the the outside of my bed is dark anyway so yeah. if you have a white one it looks a bit fucking just get any one I'll say black when you have a rig coming around why not invest in a scented candle. Show her that you're a nice lad. 
for a better chance of getting right through it. <laughs> what sense the best for a uh, wallet fucking well, accumulation? The, you can mess about with these afterwards, you can like put them inside them and make them fire them out at you and shit. Well, wow, that's weird shit, man. Nah, that's cut it, cut it. Beautifully sweet little beets in a marinade full of spicy warmth. That's the shit, ladies Wouldn't and gents. Wouldn't have said it better myself, to be honest. That's the shit, man. Yeah, man. Oh man. Mate, that's fucking great, man. Fuck off. Fuck off. Mate, that's mate. fucking rudeness, mate. That fucking view, do mate. I have big news, I have really big news. I'm gonna title this vlog, I have something to tell you. Move the mirror and the table, swap places. Good, isn't it? Big announcement. Oh man, look at that though, that's fucking sweet, isn't it? Sick day, man, I know I always say that shit, but you just I keep getting a lot of sick days, so, you know, let me. Sick, eh? Can I go and do some deadlifts? Some light deadlifts. Let's call them rehab deadlifts. Might show you. All right, people, just a quick little commentary over these very light deadlifts. So, first off, apologies if I sound like a zombie. It's just after 2 a.m. here, and I am trying to get this video finished before tomorrow because I'm off on holiday. So, uh, just some light deadlifts. As a few of you might know, I'm just recovering from a minor lower back injury and just building up my confidence again with these, just staying really light, going low weight and uh, pretty high volume for now. Uh, I need to sit my ass down by the looks of things and also tuck my chin in, but, you know. Anyway, moving on, I got up to about, I think this is 50 kilograms a side, so baby weights really, but I'm going to just start really add into that over the next few weeks I do feel like my back is pretty much recovered so um, hopefully by the end of the year Joey D will be doing some respectable deadlifts and if not then it's fine man I'll, I'll live with the embarrassment anyway uh, this is how I'm looking currently so just dead normal to be honest really inoffensive not particularly not particularly you know pretty standard that in it all right, I'm gonna get fat in Budapest anyway. See you later. Look at this little number here to uh, serenade with. <laughs> serenade, uh, I mean girls with. <laughs> All right, lads, give that a second. We yeah. going? Yeah, yeah. Yo, everyone, guess what? I was digging through my shit right there. Keep filming, man. Keep filming. You're still gonna be able to hear me. So I was digging through my shit at home. Looking for boxing gloves. I don't know why I'm shouting. God, that's what, man. There might, there might be wind noise, but basically, I was digging through my shit at home, looking for boxing gloves, and I found a mic, like a lapel mic. See that shit? And I dig the phone. So I thought I'd just try it and see if it works. I might have to get a little dead cat for it, one of the little furry things. But it means that look, I can chat over here, and you can still fucking hear me just as well. I don't need to be near the camera. And I'm like, yeah, now I'm chatting from over here. So, this shit's gonna get next level. I didn't see this vlog bit, so I'm... Also, it means I can, like, walk to people in crowds and chat and shit. Or you can film shit from, like, covert ops, mate. That's what's up. Right, we're going to the Chinese supermarket to get Bao. We're going to Wing Yip supermarket, the home of Great Bao. As well as Chinese stuff. Japanese food is also available. Okay, let's go inside. Sriracha is legit the king of sauce, man. That's the gear. Loads of stuff here, though. Dun, 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 dun. Great, that. We're getting that. Mike, grab some of this hoisin. Put it in that basket. That's great. 
before that, Sriracha Mayo. Looks alright, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Can you get it? No. Nah, I don't, I don't, I'm not into it. Man. What's that, Mike? What have you got there? Uh, I've got a roid in my hand. Okay. You, you love a roid, you. I love a roid, mate. <laughs> Mike, come here. Do you fancy a moolie? Hmm? Do you fancy a moolie? I fancy a moolie. They're down there, man. Oh, yeah. Just get one. This is where I love them show up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. Do what? Do it. <laughs> Sapping people. This is the shit we came for, right? We're doing a bow haul. How's it going, mate? This is the good shit, right? This brand, I'm saying, is better than this brand. That's what I'm saying. I know this guy told me otherwise last time. <laughs> I think these ones are better, man. Honestly, I tried both. I got one. I was like, he's lying to me, you know? He's having me. Do you know the ones I was looking for, though? The ones I was looking for. Last time when we couldn't find them, I found them. Where are they, man? The, the, the custard ones, uh, that, that, them ones, man. Good shit, mate. Great stuff. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, they are, they're the wrong ones, mate. Good job you said that. Those ones. Nam Wong Bao. Mate, they're fucking great. Alright, let's do it. Is it tear? What? The close up tear, mate. Tear. Tear. Alright, it'll do this one because it's not revealed itself. So we'll get here. Whoa. That fucking dodo. <laughs> dodo. 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 What? Saying? Having it? What are you mate saying? Goose watch. Yo fellas, I got me hood up because I got shit hair. I worked out right that it's easier to just put your hood up than become YouTube attractive. So, anyway, we're going to the gym. Thought I'd do a little bit of uh, vlogging on the way, but it's dead windy, so it might be too windy and I might not even use this clip. But anyway, I haven't vlogged for a while because I've just been that busy, you know. I've been that busy with January fucking influx of people who realise that they completely shagged it over Christmas and you know, January's always always a busy time and so I've just literally been sat at my house working all fucking day most of the time. So there's not much point in uh, vlogging that. But anyway, today is uh, what day is it? I don't know. And we're going to do a push session and I've changed my main push main press exercises now from dumbbells back to barbell so uh, I've been OHPing for a few weeks but I went back to bench pressing as well instead of dumbbells just thought fuck it let's I've been doing dumbbells for a while so you know I figured that maybe just switch to barbell for a bit just for the sake of it and keep myself interested um, so I notice and you will notice this when you change your main exercises like that you know say you've been making progress on dumbbell press for a while you'll you'll think right oh i wonder if wonder if what i can bench now i bet i can bench like way more but your bench press does decline even while your dumbbell press is increasing because although it's like pretty a very similar movement almost the same um the like minute differences in the actual motor skill and you'll find that when you do go back to barbell for example you'll be weaker initially than when you left off but you'll make very fast progress um, because you reattune to the motor skill the actual movement um, and your strength is actually there you have the strength that you that you've hopefully built up over the last like you know whatever the phase of your program that you've been in um, on, on dumbbells for and so anyway that's what I'm going to document today I'm going to see what I can do I'm doing sets of eight so I'm going to see what I can bench press I'm going to include um, probably some benching in my workouts for the next like month or so and see how my strength uh, progresses on that just as a little you know we can just document that shit see what happens okay let's do it Hi peeps, this is um, 
mid warm up set so I've done a couple of sets with the bar, a couple of sets with just 20 aside. I'm just going to do like one mid level set with 30k aside and then I'm going to go into a working set so obviously people ask me shit about like warming up all the time and that. Come a bit closer to me just in case you can't hear me. Um, and basically it's literally what it, is, what it says on the tin, it's a case of getting warm so if you walk into a gym and it's fucking freezing then you know, you're going to need a lot more work than if you walk in somewhere that's warm, do you know what I mean? It's like actually a case of the elasticity in your muscles increasing when you're warmer so um, that's it, we're going to do like mid-level warm-up set. <laughs> Alright, we're doing first working set. Still trying to kind of get a feel of what I'm actually capable of. It'll be easier for me when I've been benching for a longer time and I know what I can set my weights as soon as I walk in. But uh, we've got 35k side, so we're going for eight reps. And then, based on how easy or hard that is, I'll try and make a judgment on what the rest of my sets should be. So, let's see. I feel like it's not going to be easy, man. It should be, because it's fucking. Whatever. Right, uh, I feel like it should have been easier, I'm probably going to do, I may, go, I may go heavier, but what I'm going to do is another set like that, and then if I feel I can go heavier after that, I'm going to add just the five onto each side, so, I don't know, but, feels, right. <laughs> Alright, we're going to talk about rest times as well because it's another thing that people ask me a lot. Um, and like, when I started training, I was doing, yeah, yeah. When I started training, I was like timing 30 seconds strict, right? But that is not ideal, it's less than ideal, man. Um, nowadays, I go longer for my compounds, I'm like, two minutes, maybe a little bit more if it's deadlift or squats. Um, isolations, maybe like a minute and a half or something, but essentially you want to be as close to fully recovered as you can, because if you look at the weight that you're going to lift, um, you know, try doing your five sets of bench with 30 seconds rest in between, right, and that's almost like an aerobic workout, it's almost an endurance, muscular endurance workout that you're doing there, because 30 seconds isn't enough rest, so try doing your five sets of bench, yeah, with 30 seconds rest, and add up your total load for that, so your weight times your reps times your sets, yeah. And then, next week, take two minutes rest, add up your total load, and there'll be a massive difference between those. And, you know, it doesn't take the fucking brains of a Joey D to work out that that's better. So, alright. Anyway, on that note, it's about time for another set. Alright, so, based off that, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. I might see if it's 2.5. If not, I'll go up to 40k side because it wasn't too hard. And also, I always feel like my third my third working set is the easiest. So I don't know. We'll see what happens anyway. <laughs> All right. So what I'm doing these days is putting my creatine in with my BCAAs. And then just filling that up with a fuckload of water because that's basic. You don't really need to drink your creatine and shit at any like time of the day, but if I do it when I train, it means that I don't forget. And also, if I fill it up with a fuckload of water, it means I have to drink all that water to get all the creatine in. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go and like make more and shit. So, it kind of forces me to drink more water, which is just never a bad thing, is it? So, anyways, apple and lime, bros. Okay, we're going up to 40k here. Obviously, they're just bumper plates, so it looks like it's loads, but it's not loads. Yeah, I'm gonna put some wrist straps on. I don't really want to go to failure on any of my sets. Um, because I do my push workouts, I do my horizontal press. I actually alternate these days, but horizontal press followed by vertical press. I don't want to go like deep into the realms of failure on my first exercise or my OHPs which is going to be next exercise I'm just going to suffer too much man and it's not ideal and you don't really need to go to 
you know, you don't want to be blasting out complete failure too much. I'll go to failure on some sets later in the workout. Um, probably not on this exercise. Anyway, let's do it. Actually, feel like my weaker side going a little bit, but I'm not a bodybuilder, so I don't have to be symmetrical. <laughs> All right, now Mag's just gonna just absolutely tank that for 20 reps. <laughs> it's not apple. What? Not I just apple. burped in your face, that's why. <laughs> you say, burp, man. All right, doing fourth working set of five. Uh, uh, we got a little spot for Mike just in case I need it. Hopefully I don't need it, but we we'll see, man. <laughs> the Harambe dance, man. Alright, uh, you're gone. I'm alright, I'm alright, come yeah. on. Very much. Yeah, that was pretty perfect to be honest. I feel like I probably I might have got like one more rep off one more rep off, so it's probably like one or two reps of failure, so probably like RPE nine slash ten. So obviously we're just gonna log all these weights. Then the next push workout, I'll be doing my over pressing first. So it's hard to really um, track your progress when you, your workouts are alternating, but um, as in your first exercises are alternating from workout to workout, but the workout following that, I'll try to get these as a minimum. Which I think it will do, like I was saying before, you know, if you, if you, um, switch your first exercise you find you, you, you're quite weak to begin with but I know I'm not weak in general just I'm not practiced at this exercise so yeah so I'll show you my last set anyway all right so final set and I'm probably gonna finish up this workout for a chair because it's dragging on but hopefully it should look a lot like the last one to be honest it's not that exciting is it fuck all but it should be uh, you know getting close to failure by the time I'm on eight and I might actually yeah, we'll see. I'm doing suicide grip again, man. It's more comfy. So, three, two, one. Your bar. on man you know you can't really hope to judge your weights better than that and like that's just something that comes with experience man people go in a lot of time after I've sent someone a program they'll come back to me and they'll be like find it hard to like judge my weights and you know know what I'm capable of but honestly you pick it up quick man it's literally just a case of getting a feel for it and it sometimes it takes a while but you know it's worth just concentrating on for a while because once you have a good idea of what you're capable of it's the same as your calories, then you've got something to go off for the whole time, so... Right, we're out for this workout. So yeah. Right. Joe, what, mate? if me and Mags were both struggling on bench, who would you spot first? <laughs> um, it's an unrealistic question, Mags never struggles on bench. <laughs> Bell <Bellin. laughs> See how it's resting on my chest there? Oh, well, my elbows out to the front. Right, 
and then as the rep goes up, my head kind of goes forward, comes under the bar. It's my last one, I won't get it on. Oh, look at that one. Anyway, OHP gain to Joey D. Hey, so basically, if you've got a disobedient bird, you get a good set of gloves, I got 12 ounce. Anything less than 12 ounce, you show up with like bruises and shit. With that, you can get away with giving them a good beating. You grow a really obedient bird. Good set of ever last one. Music, Mike. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but you know, if you look at this guy, you can tell he's putting his, his heart and soul into it, man. He's not self conscious, he's just fully putting everything into it. He fucking loves it, man. I, I actually, after hearing this guy for the first time, I actually scoped him out on YouTube and um, I can only find like live versions of it, so it's not great for um, downloading. But just think about it being the Joey D theme tune. Oh, wait there. Uh, wait there. What were you saying? Um, yeah, I don't think this would fit as your theme tune. No, it's not really apt, is it? No, fuck. Lost it. The wrong club on the wrong man. <laughs> Alright, will you film us a bit? Yeah. How's it going? Uh, hey, Sign it, fellas. Week, what are we doing? There's an understanding. We're going to understand how it is. We're going to do some vlog section. Yeah, yeah. Get on. Be like, I want to come back in a sec. Nice one. Yeah, alright. So, we're going to answer some questions from these guys. What's your name? My name's Tom. I'm making a documentary about. Making a documentary about OCD. About OCD. Okay. How's it going, Caravan? Pro game, man. Stay. Stay. Alright, let's do it. Okay, let me ask you a question, my mate. Yeah. Do you drive? I do drive, yeah. Have you ever been driving along and had a crazy thought of, like, I just want to smash my car into the centre reservation or driving to Hong Kong traffic? Uh. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Yes. Not, not that I want to, but a weird feeling as if you could, as if you're so close to disaster at all times. The same, I get the same feeling sometimes when I, when I look over like a high balcony or something and I think, I could just jump off. Just jump off. Like, I'm never, I'm never going to, but it's scary that you're so close. You can just, just a little, it's a little decision in it, with huge ramifications, but, uh, so, yeah. Thanks for your time, John. No worries, man. Thanks a lot. It was nice to meet you. You too, mate. Take Later. Hey, camera one. Alright, happening. How's it going, peeps? So, I think I just filmed this whole fucking clip without my microphone plugged in, so the sound quali quality might have been wank on it, so I'm going to refilm it. Anyway, I'm back. I'm in the middle of Manchester. I'm do doing some last minute shopping bits because I'm going to Budapest tomorrow. <sighs> Fuck me, hands are cold. Budapest is gonna be freezing, so I'm getting like thermal fucking socks and like I'm just getting loads of fucking heavy duty cold clothes and shit, so uh, bought a new coat, I'll show you that actually. It's a little fucking Whoa, little cheap beige. ass fucking little vintage beige vintage number. shop beige Ralph Lauren number. Alright. Also Fuck oh, it's cold. <laughs> Hate yeah. the cold this lad. I've got a GoPro man, so hopefully you can get some weird shots and uh You're gonna jump off. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna jump off stuff, not in Budapest, but you can jump in the Danube. Like once you got a GoPro you need to do some sick shit, don't you? So jump in the Danube River. Now I've got like responsibility to do good shit. Um also a few clips ago I was using a 
the mic on the thing, I'm not going to use that because the sound quality is shit, I think. I think it's wank because I listen back to it, so I'm not going to use it. But I think I'm going to get like a lapel mic that's just a better quality so I can like walk up to people in the street and like do some hidden camera like shit and I don't know, say some funny shit to birds or something and see how that goes. I think that would be a funny thing to put in vlogs, so I'm going to do that. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is, look at the movement on this. <laughs> Should be it should be a little bit smoother than usual because I've switched the quality down from seven down from 1080p to 720. So now I can go 60 frames a second and I think on like brightish days when it's kind of light and stuff it won't affect the quality too bad. Mm. And so it should Case be better what, overall, you? man. It should, should be better. Do you want to see smooth flowing Joey D? Or do you want to see the dry skin on his fucking I face? I think we want like liquid. We want like a liquidy Joe, man. <laughs> because fluid Joe. Previously, I think the movement's not been like that great on it, but anyway, there's just a couple of things I need to mention. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I know it's a video about fuck all, but that's what a vlog sometimes is, isn't it? Sometimes it's got no point, man. And you're just doing daily fucking home drum chores and shit. Uh, so Budapest tomorrow. I'm gonna try and get this video up before that. Don't know if I'll actually do that. Um, but the Budapest video, I'm gonna do a more kind of like travel vlog kind of thing. I wanna do something just a little bit different and. Uh, Hopefully that'll just be like a little bit of a different style to usual and I don't know, I'm looking forward to just, I don't know, I'm looking forward to something some, some different than usual, so. See you later. That's it. See you Joe. Bye. Alright, let's wrap it and go. Joe Delaney is my hero! Under 20 frames a second, so I should be able to slow it right down. Caning me, fucking man. Do a fucking dance, lad. What do kind a, of a dance. I want one with limbs involved. Go ahead.